on Fox, it's a good time to talk about fraud. For tax day, most people are going to print or copy financial documents. And that information is going to get stored somewhere. Tonight, the Fox 10 investigators tell us one more way that hackers are being given a chance to steal your information. Keith Yaskin's working this story. He joins us live. Keith. John, a copier room. You'll find a room like this in most businesses. And this right here, well, it's a routine most of us go through every day. And the funny thing is, is people always make sure they get the original. They don't want to leave it behind. But that's nothing compared to a bigger issue. You spot them sitting in every office. But paper jams may be the least of your worries. What you might be leaving behind on copier machines has not gotten much exposure. I was actually shot. Home to bank statements, driver's licenses, social security numbers. I didn't know that if you put a driver's license on a, on a copier, that it would hold it for you in a hard drive. Confidential documents, you think locked file cabinets and desktops. But just like PCs, most copiers are digital with hard drives and are able to scan documents, send faxes and emails, and are frequently connected to companies' computer networks. People can download documents from copiers like files on computers. When you make a copy, it does that. When you print a print job, it does that. What it does is save information on a hard drive. Their information is at risk. Press the right buttons and hook a cable to connect the laptop and copier. In minutes, Ray prints documents from the copier's previous owner. Go to print, and they will reprint that job for me. That's what's printing right here. How easy is it uh, to obtain this cable? I can go to Fry's and buy as many as you want for $4 a piece. Some guy put it to me this way. You wouldn't just put your computer out in front of your house and let just anyone look through it. That's exactly what some businesses might be doing when they turn in their old copiers to just about anyone. Haven't heard of this? Neither have some company. The copier on the left came from an advertising agency. The one on the right from a mortgage company. We all know what type of documents are printed at mortgage companies and what kind of information those contain. The old mortgage company copier includes a screen showing past documents. This time Ray prints out a credit report. Usually old machines are sold to wholesalers who sell them to whomever will pay. So they could end up in anybody's hands. A survey of technology experts shows almost half believe their copiers did not have hard drives. Almost two-thirds believed information was not at risk. I think they'd be very shocked and I think that they would certainly want to know what happened to their machine once they found out that they were at that risk. Ray says invest in machines that automatically erase, overwrite, and encrypt information. I believe that most companies don't see it as a major threat because it's not a well-known thing out there. Because we turn in our copiers every three years. Union title ensures its copiers scramble information so no one else gets it. I've been doing copiers for at least the past ten years. Never knew somebody would do that. And anything that goes into our server has great protection, huge firewalls. No one can get into our, our information. Well, the copiers that you saw in the story, those hard drives, the information on them, that's all going to be erased. But, John, you heard the woman. She said even with expensive big copiers like this, they're switching them out every three years. People are just putting them out there, and they have no idea the kind of information that's on there that they're giving out. You know how they say, Keith, with a computer, if you try to kind of wipe something out, it's still in there somewhere? Right. Is that the same way with uh, the copiers? Even if you try to delete all the information that may be stored on the hard drive, can it still be retrieved? Well, John, the advice that we got is don't do this yourself. Even if you don't have these fancier copy machines that can encrypt the stuff, Man, I'll tell you, uh, the convenience of some of these things ha have created some problems, haven't they? A lot to think about. Yeah, thanks. Keith Yaskin tonight. Yeah, I, you know, you have enough things to worry about. Now Keith just added one more. My <laughs> well, head's going to explode. We're in the good feelings <laughs> business here at Fox 10.